Derek don't have but three acres left to cut. And they've got something they're doing, I think it's on the bottom of the barrel end of the leveling cylinder there under the 830. And there's uh they're having a lot of difficulty with it right now. I come up here to get uh get some oil for my loader where I can top it off. But it's really jacking us up pretty bad right now. Because we need Derek to cut that in, but like I said a while ago, three acres left to cut. So uh let's see what's going on. Yeah. So that's the pen. That's all the stuff that goes with the pen. This is the end of it that holds everything together. I'm not even going to try to explain how it all works. And this is uh, this is what it looks like. I'll show you all the side. It's still in there. That's it. Over there. You can see it over here. That's what they replaced. So what happened was, is this bushing right here. I can't do it one handed real good, but anyhow, it's got a lot of slack in it right there. That's what it's got in it. And you can feel that in the machine. there's a hole you got to get through to drive through drive it out so you can see the one over on the other side over there so we're just gonna try to get Derek to where he can run uh, it's not fixed we're just gonna try to get him where he can run and we can finish the job at least I got me some oil to pour back in my loader about to go back down there I've never seen a pin and bushing set up like that. That pin is uh, cone shaped on the end and then it's got these cone shaped things that go on the end of it and it's made where you tighten it down the tighter it sits it and uh, it's just in a bad spot down there but we've never had to pull one of those things apart like that. Thank you. 
That's my next to the last truck today. Uh, Derek's back running out there. You can see him going. There's there's some things on this we just we, we've dealt with the last couple of days on that machine there that uh, none of us are are not happy with at all. It is what it is. So and that's not the end with that machine either. That pin and all that stuff that I showed on the back of that service truck, it's got to be replaced again. And they've got all new stuff coming for it again. So all that's going to be swapped sometime next week. I don't think it's going to be here until Monday. You all see the Brad repairs right there blooming out. I mean... <laughs> We're not nowhere near out of winter yet. They're a little bit, uh, they're a little bit ahead <laughs> this year. So I was gonna let some of y'all live up north to do in the snow and very cold, kind of see a little taste of spring here.